guys, welcome to Decidedly Neapolitan. Yeah, this is a um, uh, kind of little video, just kind of show you what I've been what I've been up to. Got some got some changes going around. Oh, I need to fix that. Um, yeah, I've been doing a little doing a few things around here. Um, as you can see, I've got a few more of these little uh, experience berries going. And as you can see here, I've got my tanks all set up. Now, remember, it used to be right over there, that the experience tank. I put it over here because I set up one of these auto enchanters. And basically what you do is you... I don't think I have anything I can enchant right at the moment. Uh, maybe one of these bows. Let's, let's an enchant a bow here. And I'll show you. Basically what you do is you stick these in here. And then you uh, adjust the level to where you want it, and it'll automatically enchant it. Oh, Infinity 1. Oh, that is a good bow. Infinity 1 and Unbreaking 3. That is not bad at all. I bet. I wonder if I can combine it with this one, which is a uh, Flame 1 Unbreaking Power. I wonder if they'll combine. I don't know if they will or not. But, uh, yeah. So I got that going on. Yeah, and I, I kind of like this. Basically, what you do is it's just a, a regular enchanter with... Uh, enchanting table and then you um, um, see if I can get the recipe for you here. It's just a regular enchanting table with iron and redstone. Really, really simple. Uh, so yeah. And you just set it in there. It works pretty good. And the reason I did this was so I don't lose my XP if I die. Because basically you just store it all in there. And then you don't really need to have any XP on you when you uh, enchant something. But if you do need the XP, then you just right click on the tank and it'll fill up the XP if you want to, you know, do some combining or whatever. Also went through and um, torched up the area so that... Uh, Hopefully the mobs won't be as bad. It's not it's not perfect by any means, but it, I did torch it up. I used a lot of torches too, so yeah, it, it'll be better. It won't be. It's not perfect, but it will definitely be better. And uh, oh, that's one of those hellbark from the Nether. So yeah, see, I torched it up pretty good around here. So and as you can see, I put in one of these one of these old school uh, cactus farms just for the uh, just to get cactus for use cactus for the waterproofing and uh, yeah it uh, is actually doing pretty good <laughs> I've only got little four little things set up there but it's actually doing really well I'm, I'm quite surprised with it all right so well, let's go downstairs because I need to show you some stuff there. Uh, I went through, as you can see, my armor. Look at my armor. That was from torching the place up. I just went, it just, I, they basically beat my armor to death. And this, this armor right here I got off of a couple, couple Zeds. And uh, this is my old armor, which I probably need to go ahead and just put on. I've got some steel boots that I found. But yeah, my armor's just, they just beat it to, beat it to shreds. And, uh, what is that? Uh, oh, I need an empty hand, don't I? Landmark. Oh, someone put a, <laughs> someone put a landmark on there. Uh, if you saw my last video, there's the glider. Now, the jetpack and stuff is being used for a secret project, which I cannot mention at the time, and I am not going to. And my buddy Jeff, look what he did. Look what he did. Charged my energy cell. Well, Jeff, I don't think it took uh, that much netherrack to charge your energy cell. <laughs> but I also put in a plea to uh, for to uh, for um, some blaze rods, and he very kindly gave me a bunch of blaze rods as well. So thank you, Jeff. I appreciate it, buddy. So now I've upgraded this just a little bit. Uh, you kind of took saw a glimpse of it in the uh, in the last video but I replaced this with the hardened fluid duck got rid of all the buildcraft stuff and you can see how how much more simple this is now and I went with the opaque just for it's just lag it's less lag it doesn't have to render the lava in, on the texture so it's just a little less laggy so yeah 
Now I did have, let me see if I can go over here. You can see I, I kind of rearranged these chests a little bit. It, it, I just, it was kind of stupid to have them all down there when there was really nothing in them. Now you notice an ender pearl. I actually had two ender pearls, which I made a new, um, uh, what do you call it? elevator block here. And the reason I did was because I was started on level three. Now, level three is where I'm going to stick all the EU stuff, the IC2 stuff. But as you can see, I ran into a cave. And now this is a, a substantial cave, too. This isn't just like a little, little, you know, hole in the ground kind of thing. This thing is substantial. It goes along quite a ways. See, this wraps back around, actually wraps all the way around back here. As you can see, oh. now let's see, where is the other way? I wanted to show you this because this is kind of interesting. I think it's down this way. Yeah, I kept hearing, kept hearing noises, zombie noises, and I came in here and found this area. And this, oh my goodness, guys, this, this just goes on forever. Big ol' I've got it all lit up here. I should have recorded it. I, there was just mobs all over the place here, but I wasn't able to really wasn't able to record it at the time I was doing this um, but look at this it goes it goes way down here and you notice uh, I mentioned this to uh, Kingy I think it was this is my little technique for not getting lost in caves basically if you come to a junction in the cave then what what I do is I put a block with a torch on now the torch points back to the way you go back to the uh, back home you know, the way out basically is where the torch points. And as you can see, every time I come to an intersection, see, I've got an intersection here. Every time I come to an intersection, I point, I put the block down and, and it's a non-natural block. So in this case, it's cobblestone with the torch pointing this way. So I know that when I come out of one of these branches that I need to go in that direction. And I just put, since this is such a vertical drop here, I put this here at a point. Okay, we need to go up in that direction up there because otherwise you can be down here and like uh what's the deal look at all these resources down here man it's a ton of them but where is it i wanted to show you is it this direction now see again another i can't remember exact no not here there is a huge huge ravine down here but i, I don't remember exactly where it's located oh it's right here yeah, here it is. Look at this thing. It goes way down there. Well, I guess it's not that huge, but I don't want to back into that lava. But yeah, I mean, it looked it looked bigger when I looked at it earlier. I guess when it was dark, it looked a little bigger, but it goes off in that direction. And I can't quite see down there, but it heads off in that direction, too. So yeah, and then, of course, the cave goes way off in the, over in that. I lit it up because I don't want a bunch of zombie noises, you know bunch of zombie noises when I'm trying to you know work on my second level down there look at all the I'll go through here and clean up some of these resources too I mean there's just a ton of them but anyways let's go back up this way because that's where my torch is pointing and it's pointing and do we go up over here this this is just a dead look at all this thomcraft stuff I'm 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 I'd leave all the thomcraft uh, stuff in here so if any of you thomcraft guys want to come in here and Take all that stuff, get you a fortune pick, and fortune all of it. Help yourself, because I'm just leave. I'm just leave it. I don't. I don't mess with it. I've got a fortune two pick, but I figure if someone has a fortune three pick, it would be even better. They could just pick it up and get get more out of it. Now let's see. I did make a little path up here. If I can remember how to get back up here. Got some more of those aluminum berries, marble, limestone. Just a lot of stuff here. A lot of stuff. And here's the little torch pointing on this one, although it's kind of, it's got a little ladder going up here because uh, it goes up in this direction as well. I don't know if I went up here or not, but look at all the resources. Wow, there's just a ton of them up in this cave. Diorite. You know, 
Nobody likes diorite, but I like it. So I I I use it. Look at all this stuff. It's crazy. This marble is very pretty. It, it chisels up really nice too. I want to use more of it. That marble is a good replacement for quartz if you if you like the quartz block. It's a real good replacement for quartz, and it's a lot cheaper to uh, get and use because it's it's very very um, uh, common. Yeah, it's just this place just goes on forever. Huge old cave down here. So I'm going to kind of have to finagle my way around, you know, uh, to build my second level down here. But I, I do want to make, I'm going to make an access point here down this way so you can get down to that cave. There'll be a door there you'll be able to go. Basically, this is kind of the limit here. So I'm going out seven to, to start with. Now, I, I probably need to expand out like I've done here. Because see, if you look, my basics, the basic setup is seven. One, two, three, four, five, six, and seven. And then I've got the wall there. Oh, and here's my uh, geothermal generator. And oh, look, he, he look, uh, looks like picks was done with it, left it in there. So let's put it back up here. I don't know if he's finished with it or if he just left it in there to uh, charge up. Maybe I should leave it in there because I'm not sure if he's done with it or not. So just in, just in case he's not. Well, I guess you can't, once it's charged up, you can't take it out. <laughs> All right. Uh, I've been, I've been leaving it on the shelf here. So and there's a, a usually put a pair of rubber boots there as well. So uh, if any of you guys need to use a jetpack, help yourself. If I'm not using it, that's where, where it's, that's where I'll put it. Um, you'll notice here I had to expand out just a little bit on this side, you know, here. So so I'll, I'll do that for like plumbing and access and whatnot. But uh, the basic setup just will be this right here. And this is probably a little bit too big. Um, yeah, because I'm going to really have a bunch of open space here. But what I, what I, my intention is, uh, these aren't all the machines that you can get. There's a bunch more that you can get, for thermal machines, I mean. There's a bunch more you can get. So what I'll do is I will, where this, uh, where this uh, uh, lava pipe goes up under here, what I'll do is instead I will just run it straight down to the, to, to the next level down there. And then I'll run this, my electrical system. I will run it down and through here and then along this back wall over here. And then I'll, I'll continue the, uh, these machines, the thermal machines over here, because there's a bunch more yet uh, that, uh, that we can use. And then what I'll do is I'll, move, I'm going to move all the IC2 stuff. Oops, went the wrong way. Move all the IC2 stuff down here. Now, uh, part of what I'm going to do is uh, um, a, a diamond manufacturing system and put that in down here. So um, I've got that. I've got a little prototype set up in the creative my creative world. So let's jump on over there to the creative world, and I'll let you. Uh, we'll take a look at it real quick. So I'll see you guys over there. Welcome to my creative world. Yeah, this is the uh, mod pack. The same mod pack but I've got it set up in a, in a flat world here in, in creative mode and um, basically I just want to I use this to kind of try out some things don't look at that over there that's really nothing I was experimenting with some things <laughs> but uh, here's my uh, my uh, lava generator system kind of thing going on here uh, yeah now and I use the opaque pipes uh, it's set up a little bit different on uh, on the server, but this is basically where I was kind of messing around with the idea on it. But this little gizmo right here, this is kind of where, uh, well, this is the, the uh, geothermal generator. So this is generating the EU thing. Oop, I had my music up, didn't I? I was listening, yeah, I did. I was listening to it uh, while I was while I was spamming those torches all over the place. So, now this is the, um, still kind of loud, isn't it? 
Seems loud. Loud to me. Um, this is where I was check testing out the uh, my diamond manufacturing system. Now, originally, you know, you know, it's a little gap here. Now, originally, I had set up a, a macerator here and uh, was macerating um, coal, which would create this coal dust here. And of course, the coal dust goes goes through down in the hopper to this auto workbench. And see, the auto workbench is pretty nifty little deal. Basically, you just you put in a recipe, and then the items will come into here. And of course, it's got enough uh, inventory slots to match the recipe. Basically, is how it works. Uh, but in this case, you know, I'm I'm just using coal dust and a flint, and it creates these coal balls. Now these get picked up and get moved over here into this first compressor and here they're compressed down into these um, compressed coal balls which are right here and then the compressed coal balls combined with the um, with obsidian and again we've got obsidian here to create a coal chunk this coal chunk is then compressed to create a diamond now it takes as you can as you can see it takes a lot of <laughs> takes eight coal dust to make one coal ball okay and these compress down into coal chunks all right takes eight coal coal ball coal, uh, compressed coal balls it takes eight compressed coal balls and some obsidian to create one of those coal chunks so yeah so we've got basically eight times eight which is 64 so it takes a whole stack of coal to make a diamond so it's not that op really not that op at all but anyways i took out the macerator and stuff because I, you know with this i've already got the thermal setup going and i can i can macerate coal pretty fast now pretty quickly so really all i need to do is just load this up with with coal dust and uh and then add in the flint which i can create flint by uh by pulverizing um uh gravel so that takes care of that and then the obsidian i can make the obsidian using my uh uh extruder so uh yeah so the so i i, I can make all the pieces here so that's not a problem so there's really no no reason to put a macerator there. So yeah, so basically what I can do is just, uh, I've got a chest here, but I could put like a, a barrel, for instance, on top of that, suck it down into the, I don't know if barrels use hoppers or not. I think you have to add a hopper upgrade to a barrel in order to work with a hopper. But anyways, that's, that's simple to do. And uh, basically I could just set up the system, but it's really, really pretty, pretty straightforward really just two compressors two auto workbenches and uh, of course you know the EU power which I've already got set up and uh, it just will go and I've got the, these are redstone hinges and of course you know I got it where I can turn it off here so yeah real simple system and it's you know here I've been I don't know produced 13 diamonds in I don't know 30 minutes or an hour or something like that so not not very fast not very fast at all so yeah but you know it's not really i'm not really this isn't really a a setup to get into the diamond industry you know <laughs> it's more like a uh, just kind of a you know see what you can do kind of thing really is all it is now uh, jefferson has that wither spawner in the nether now what you could do is set up a wither spawner in the nether and have it, you know, drop withers, kill them all automatically <coughs> because withers drop, uh, wither skeletons, they drop coal. So you would have a renewable coal source. Now it would take probably a, a long time and obviously you'd have to AFK in the nether in order to do it. But if you were in the nether anyways, this would be something you could set up in the nether. Just let it, let it go there, you know, turn it on and just let it let it sit there in the nether and the wither skellies while you're in the nether doing stuff the wither skellies would fall die 
the coal would be fed into a macerator, which would go into here, you know. Uh, you could add the flint. See, the, the flint, see, it takes one flint, right? So, you know, this flint will last for a long time. And if you look at this, it just takes one obsidian per eight. So this obsidian will last for a long time. So that's not really something you have to, to worry about too much. You could just fill up half of these with obsidian and half with um, flint. Uh, flint and obsidian and then you'd be good to go but you could set yourself up a nice little system that way so like if you're in the nether it just continually drop these um, uh, drop the withers that would kill them if it did drop coal you could uh, you'd have to set yourself up a little sorting system but you can do that with a diamond sorting pipe in build craft and you know you would shunt the swords and bones off to over there somewhere and then the coal would just go here into the macerator, be macerated, and end up in the, in oops, dang it, end up in the chest, and um, uh, to be, um, you know, to be um, uh, eventually turned into diamonds down there at some point. So yeah. So anyways, I just wanted to show that to you guys, uh, and we'll be setting this. I'll be setting this up on the second level down there, and uh, along with the EU generation. But uh, yeah, I kind of just wanted to give you a, a little give you a little uh look see on on what i was uh playing around with on that so i uh, appreciate it so yeah all righty guys so uh yeah that should be pretty fun to set up you know it's not going to be it's not really that op to be honest because it takes up quite a bit of coal i mean i've got i've got a substantial amount of coal i mean Pretty good, pretty good amount of coal, but uh, I used a lot of it for torches. <laughs> but uh, I, is it still over here? KB gave me a whole ton of wood, which I made a bunch of car charcoal out of. Now you can't use charcoal to make diamonds; it, it will only work with coal. So uh, yeah, so uh, so it's not like I have an infinite supply of coal, but coal is pretty simple to get. But anyways, it's just more of having fun than it is really any sort of practicality on it. So uh, yeah, so what I'm going to do, guys, is I'm going to work on this and uh, we'll get it squared away. I'll uh, uh, this is like a big underground lake down here. These are kind of cool. I kind of like these, but uh, this one I'm going to probably fill in because it's just in a bad location. Uh, here's some more of that Thomcraft stuff. So yeah, I'll probably fill that in. But what I'll do is I'll, I'll make this second level here, which is, uh, yeah, about that high. Now let's see, where is, I think I, yeah, see it? I went up, I might've went down a little bit too far actually, but it doesn't matter. You know, it doesn't really matter. I think I'm trying, I was trying to leave, I think I left three spaces. Is it three, maybe three or more spaces up there? Yeah, I'm not sure. Let's see. Where's the, uh... okay, so if there's one, two, three. Yeah, I left three spaces up there. Uh oh. Ooh, look at that. <laughs> okay, now I'm in trouble because I can't get my can't get it up there. Uh, can I do that? Yeah. There we go. Yeah. So uh, I'll need to fill this in, but that gives me enough room to uh, uh, be able to dig down because you see here I'm going down two spaces so the third space just gives me some a little bit of clearance because of the uh, because of the hopper system and uh, oh slag oh look at that oh I didn't know you get slag from um, what was I what was I doing why is there a chest bucket in there hmm. what was I cooking I was cooking something Oh, you know what I was cooking? Cobblestone. Cobblestone. Uh, yeah, cobblestone and sand give you bricks. 
Yeah, I was I was playing around with that. Okay, there's sand. Can we throw the cobblestone in there? Will, will that work? Let's see. Yeah, see, cobblestone and sand give you stone bricks, which I thought was pretty cool. But I didn't realize that you get slag with it. Now, slag, I think, can be used for a, a, a number of different things. Let me, let's look at that and see. Slag. Rich slag. Oh, okay. So, yep, that's it. Okay, so what are the uses on it? See, we can make clay, can make phyto grow. That's some sort of like uh, fertilizer, I think. Uh, magmatic florb. I'm not sure what you use these florbs for. I'll have to look that, all that. Oh, he's, he's done for now. Okay. Some more phyto grow. Empty floor, but I'm not sure what you use the floors for. And what do we got here? Light gray rock wool. I'm not sure what that's used for. Okay, what's the rock wool used for? Uh, oh, you can make regular wool with it. Okay, you can just make different wools there. Huh. And you just, I guess you can just make wool, different colored wools out of it. Oh, wait a minute. Here we go. A stabilized frame. Oh, a satchel. Okay. Huh. Interesting. I thought there was something that you could, some sort of, uh, something else you could do with slag. I forget. I thought you could use it in making a, uh, making some sort of contraption or something but hmm, I don't know anyways I'll look it up and find out but uh, anyways guys I'm gonna continue work on the third level down there and uh, yeah get the ICT stuff going and get all that set up and uh, um, yeah we'll, we'll install the um, diamond manufacturing system and get that in there so as I collect more coal I'll be able to uh, throw that into the system and I can pulverize it like a bad man here because I, I upgraded everything to harden so Everything right now is is at the hardened level, but of course you can you can continue to upgrade these guys um, to uh, oh the aqueous accumulator is basic, but I don't know if I really need to upgrade that anymore or not. You can uh, upgrade these. You can go up into several different tiers on these guys. So we'll do that over time. But anyways, guys, I'm going to continue on that third level, and uh, yeah, we'll get all that uh, get get ready for IC2. We'll, We'll jump into IC2 stuff here real soon. So appreciate it, guys, and I will talk to you again in the next one. Bye-bye now.